Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we went through like the first little bit of the intro, uh, we saw, heard a lot of story basically and we learnt how to use action commands and tutorial stuff. Uh, we're headed now to find The Thousand Year Door which is somewhere under the city of Roadport, which is why we are down here. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with ya? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a Spiked Goomba, and a Paro Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiked Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, I'll jump on that and you're the one who'll take damage. The Paro Goomba's airborne so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. I'm gonna have Goombella go out first so that she can tattle on some of these enemies. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem, it says here Goombas are underlings of underlings. It's totally rude. Their max HP is 2. They have an attack power of 1 and defense of 0. It's a spiked Goomba. A Goomba with a spiked head. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Hammer. It's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it when it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. Easy peasy. We got 10 star points, good for us. Owie! There they go. Ha! Later on, losers! That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. So yeah, first strikes are sort of a thing in Bug Fables. They changed it around a little bit, though. Uh, rather than uh, you, you know, just do an attack when you enter battle, you get an extra turn if the enemy has been struck with an ability previously. Which is interesting because it's a bit more flexible. Uh, but here in this one, it's just... Uh, if you hit, if you jump on someone, then when you go into battle, you'll jump on them before the battle starts. If you hammer someone, you hammer them before the battle starts. Like so. You struck first. Easy peasy. <laughs> and yeah, they drop coins. They can also drop um hearts and flowers, which is a thing that doesn't happen in Bug Fables, which is interesting. Um, and like that lets you replenish your hearts and stuff like that, which is useful.
Uh, we got some blocks here that you can get with a hammer, like so. You got a mushroom, a feel-good mushroom, replenishes 5 HP. You got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Heart points. Press start, pause, and choose items from your gear screen to see your items. You struck first. Easy peasy. But yeah, all these battles are worth doing because we're getting experience. Probably gonna level up before long. You got a fire flower. Attacks all enemies with fireballs, dealing three damage. A fire flower is quite good, because uh, three damage is a lot in this game. Uh, I'll just smash that, there we go. I think we can also go a little bit this way. Yeah, we can't go much further yet. We can't smash this big block without a better hammer. We can't jump on that from down, down here because it's too tall. That'll come up much later in the game. Oh, holy well, well these enemies. I forget how much health these guys have. Hopefully more than two, so I don't... Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, let's just get a tavel in and find out. Finio. That's a spinnier, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee ya! Yeah, that one dropped a couple of flowers, so you can see, you can get flower points that way. Oops. Um. I wish I jumped on the back one so I couldn't use the mushroom. Eh, it's alright. Not really a problem. Here we have a creepy looking treasure chest. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else, nothing. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well drafted. <laughs> I just said it out loud, what's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars are you now, so you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Yeah, we do need to go- we do need to open this box to progress, even though it looks like an obvious trap. Ah, uh, the key's just there. Oops. Let's try that again. <laughs> you got a black key. A strange black key, but what could it be for? Uh, I have an idea of what it could be for. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoa, 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 you brought the key. Yes. Oh, man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Ha. Thank nothing. Wee. Rules. <gasps> oh, boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What? Did you think I was going to help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those, those are the breaks. I'm going to cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo! You're cursed. Wee hee 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 hee! Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserved! You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane! Wee hee! Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Wee hee 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 hee! Oh, I can't help but chortle! You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then, bam, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Wee <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee <laughs> Yep, we've been cursed. You have a horrible, horrible curse. So, uh, wow. Just, wow. What was that guy's beef? So yeah, we have a horrible curse that we can use to, uh... We knew the area under Rogueport extended so far. This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of the ancient civilization when you're down here. Yeah. Handy dandy curse that lets us, uh, glide over here. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door, spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. The legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Yep, that's the Thousand Year Door. We found it. End of game. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What do you think? What could it be, do you think? What could it be, you think? Oops. Professor, what's going on? The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Um, aha, I see.
You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. Of my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. Okay, so... This feature was in Paper Mario 1 on the... Or Paper Mario 64, the, the one on the N64, is also in this game. It's not in, um, Bug Fables, which is interesting. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Sweet Treat. get the idea. Let's use one power dot. The star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Yep. Even if the gauge empties out though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. You can get the audience excited, you build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. Nice. See that? You thrilled your audience. They filled up some of your gauge. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. That number down there, yep. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. Bingo! Yeah, it gives you a whole lot of good stuff. Your HP, FP and star power are all full. Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theatre. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP or star power will fill up. But, if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Great Doomba's ghost, Mario, look at your audience. Does that guy have a hammer? He does the bum, he means to throw it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. Blink. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff, like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions and now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up a few times in- come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. 
Hey, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? The Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, it is her. The princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely. Perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shrivel or goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Uh, who's talking? I don't know what voice to use. Is it- I think it's still Frankly? Wait just a moment. Yeah, it is. You got Power Smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Uh, I'll just show you how to do it. I'm, I don't want to go through this tutorial. You absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna put on the power smash badge so that we have access to that move. This is exactly how the medals in, um, Exactly how the medals in Bug Fables work, because they're the same thing, they're just called medals. Uh, so yeah, you spend one badge point to wear the badge, and then you can use the ability while you're wearing it. Of course we don't have any other badges yet, so we can't do a whole lot, but it's a start. Off we go! Okay, so we're back here, but this time we have the Paper Plane Curse, so if we head this way, we can go... this way. Like so. Uh, actually, hang on. Don't want to skip any battles, because battles are good. Get a bit more experience. It's always nice to have. <laughs> now we can go this way. Um. All right. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt! Whoop. Scary blooper! Bloop, 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 bloop. Loose up and whack someone's tootsies like that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloopity bloop, blue. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Uh, I can jump on the tentacles. I'd like you to tattle if you can. There we go. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy! I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. 
Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that. Now house on that slimy, nasty blooper. I don't know what the timing is for blocking these yet. <laughs> uh... You can't swap their order of attack without swapping the order they're standing in as well. Uh, you can in bug variables, which is interesting. They're separate moves in that game. We're gonna use the power smash, let's go. Ah. Power smash two. Okay, we're doing well. Yeah, um, people can sometimes mess with the stage, you should go watch out for that. Anyway, we win. Goodbye, blooper. <laughs> Blah bloop! Platforms, yay! Now we can cross the water. Chapter 1 Parcel and Dragon Yeah, we're gonna fight a dragon. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Petal Meadows Oh, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Okay, we're at uh, half an hour now. Just a bit shy, but I think we can cut off the video there. Next time, we actually start Chapter 1 for realsies. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And that's it for now. Bye!